Hi all, something different today. I'm at the Box Hill store because we've got some new things that came in and we want to show you so that you're on board with them quickly. First up, I showed you a few weeks ago the uh, test shots for the Curtis L Diver from Infinity Models. The box, the box has actually finally come in with all the bits and pieces. This is the, the actual box. It's got all the bits and pieces on it about uh, building it and everything else. They list it in their hard category for skill. So, but look, having a look, had a, had a look at it already, I think you're okay uh, to the general modeler. Um, so all you need to do is just take your time, work through it. Nice box art as usual from them. This is a whole new, um, the box art they've done previously. Um, let's have a look. So, nice big sturdy box, full to the brim. This, in the case of this one, they start with the um, decals instructions. I've shown you this before, but just to show you what actually ended up in it, you've got a bit of etched metal, instruction sheet, decal sheet, and seat belts. So they include seat belts in it already for you. The kit itself uh, is a bit tidier than the test shot we saw. The clear parts are very good. Um, again, a bit cleaner. Just, just they are packaged separately, but this one's got one of them's loose at the moment, so we'll just have to be careful with that. They're very, very clear. They uh, and the the detail on the, on the actual canopies for the uh, frames and that is quite striking. So it'll uh, paint it up. It'll look really, really nice. Um, the kit itself, they've taken the principle that. Um, they give you the basic kit in the box. You can build a very nice kit out of it. It's got all, this, all the different details, all the different things you need to have to build a decent kit. I'll show you some other stuff that if you want to add to it, you can, but I'll show you that shortly. However, they have done things like there's detail inside the wing well, so that when you've got the wheel well in place, it'll show that. Interior to the cockpit has got all, the, all sorts of framing to it, all the rest of it, so it, it gives you something to work with. So that's the fuselage, that's the second part of the fuselage. Now, this is the engine. Now this is very, very nicely done. Lots of nice detail. Um, it's, as I said, it's a bit finer and a bit cleaner than the test shot. So there's very little flash. In fact, I can't really see too much flash on it at all. Uh, it'll make up into a really, really nice engine. Uh, how far you detail it up is up to you because the realities are on that cowling, or with that cowling on, you won't see a lot anyway and I've started to move to the modelling uh, statement of if I can't see it, I don't go too much into it, so it's not bad. Um, this is the cowls and tail planes, and there's a wing spar in there. So there's all this sort of bits and pieces. Props are there as well. Um, I think that's, no, it's not. I don't know what that is. It's an odd looking thing. Um, there's a flaps and stuff like that. All the, all the control surfaces are moulded in, in place. This may be exhaust parts from looking at it further. A uh, bit of exhaust information, the parts there. Uh, different cowls. Uh, what have we got here? This is the cockpit. We didn't actually um, see a lot of this last time, but it's got a lot of detail on it. You know, there's different subframes, different bulkheads, uh, a lot of detail moulded into the parts. There's a bit of the frame. Um, what else we got here? Looks like part of the seat, um, part of the side consoles. There's all sorts of bits and pieces on that one. So that's really nice. Again, very little flash, so it's much, much cleaner. That's your um, rudder, pe uh, your rudder pedals there. Um, instrument panel, which is flat. So there's obviously a decal sheet to go over the top of that. Uh, this one, these are, this is the plastic part of the bomb, uh, sorry, wrong. This is part of the flaps. Yeah, this is part of the dive brakes. So um, it doesn't have all the, all the holes drilled out. So if you want to spend hours and drill out all the holes, then go for it. But probably with just painted red, a good wash through it, uh, it'll probably come up pretty well. Again, it's they're trying to keep it as simple as possible and keep it to the point where people can just build the kit and enjoy it. There's all sorts of frames here, all sorts of bits and pieces. Um, there's a radio, there's the guns, they look quite good. Uh, bits of framing there, so that's all pretty cool. This is, uh, looks like undercarriage parts, things like that, that's your wheels. Again, quite a lot of nice detail. Uh, if you wanna go and buy resin wheels and have like all that sort of stuff, then go for it. But 
out of the box again, as I've said, it's quite nice. It's, it's probably just gonna go together really, really well. This is your lower wings. A uh, nice little box section. Again, that's the other part of the tail planes. Again, as I said, all the uh, flying surfaces are molded uh, closed. So essentially, that's your box of goodies. So out of box, I've been told, and from what I've seen so far, this will build up into a really, really nice kit. If you're not interested in having a whole lot of resin details and all the rest of it and wing folds and all the rest, just enjoy the kit. You'll have fun with it. Uh, it's a nice big beastie, as they called it, the beast. So. Um, that's the kit, as you see it, comes in the box and you can have fun with it. I can't keep saying enough that you'll just enjoy the kit. However, for the percentage of people that like to add things to it, they've also included a whole lot of accessory sets. This one is for the control surfaces. So you cut out the control surfaces. It's done in resin. Uh, there's quite a little box of goodies there, so it's quite nicely done. The detail is, is very, very good. Um, if you want to pose the pose them type of thing or put that sort of stuff in, that's that's a good one. Uh, that's for your control surfaces. What else we got? Uh, this one is, oh, now this is the Bombay. If you want to go to town and do up a Bombay on it, this is quite a substantial set. There's, there's quite a bit in this. Um, as I said, the kit doesn't come with it, but if you want to go to town on it, it's one of the things that I might look at doing if I, when I get around to doing my kit, that I might get around to uh, having a go with. But as you can see, there's lots of parts in it. The detail is very, very good. The, the finish on that is just is just superb. So and it's and it's really light. So it's not going to take a lot of work to take them off the frame, off the resin blocks and things like that to to. Um, do it. I know what's going on there. That looks like part of the interior bulk, bulkhead for it. As I said, you just need a, it's just a little bit of cleanup. There's not a lot of things you've got to do to uh, produce a nice piece. So, um, you know, just, just lots of nice little, and it's really, as I said, the, the frame is, it's almost like um, just thin flash that they've used as the basis to um, support the parts. There's your cradle. That's for the bomb cradle there. That one does have a substantial part, but then I think that's because um, this is quite delicate. But as a set to go nuts on the Bombay, it's it's quite a nice little unit. So you can have a bit of fun with that. And it would look pretty snappy with the, um, with the Bombay in place. But as I said, you don't have to. So I'll just put all that away again. As I said, it's quite flexible. So it's going to be quite easy to clean up. It's just like cutting off flash, to be honest. So that's that. Uh, what else is a major part of it? Uh, now, wing fold. The kit doesn't come, as, a, as I showed you, it doesn't come with the wing fold. This is the parts to do the wing fold. So if you want to fold it up, and uh, there's some great shots of these things sitting around on carrier decks with the wings folded, and it's quite substantial. Also, if you want to cut down on space on your on your uh, display cabinet, you could do the wing folds. This is again done in resin. Shows you all the, that's it's very as I said it's on this flexible um, resin sheet that they've been doing. It's really 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 detailed. So if you want to just even if you just wanted to fold the wings, it's worth doing. Um, just very very nice. All the locks and the mechanisms are in there. There's all sorts of other little bits and pieces. Uh, instructions give you a, a complete guide on to where you've got to cut the wing and, and all the rest of it. So a um, little bit of modelling experience required, obviously, if you're working with resins. So you need to know what you're doing there. And this is the little instruction sheet. But as I said, it gives you an exact guide as to where to cut the wings. Um, that's very good. Then fold them up. Done and done. So... Do that one. Uh, what else we got? Oh, this is the weapons for it. This is the torpedoes, bombs, um, rockets, I think it's in there too. So, you know, I'm not going to open that one up. You know what they look like. Now, there's a couple of other little accessory sets for you. 
Uh, this one is the gunner station. This is the open gunner station. On the kit, it's closed. On this one, it gives you a resin part and some etched metal to build the back area of the where the gunner sits so you can have the guns popped open and go from there. Um, obviously, if you're talented enough, you could cut it all out yourself and, and, and mold it and do it yourself, but that's a little set for that. Uh, there's two etched metal sets. This one is just a photo etched detail set. This has got various uh, panels for floors and all sorts of bits and pieces, gun belts, uh, just sort of a little bit of detail stuff. Some, some of it's for the cockpit, stuff like that. So that's that one. This one is quite extensive. This is for the landing flaps if you want them to detail them up and you don't want to do them in plastic. There's a lot in it. It's quite a big sheet. Um, it's got all sorts of bits and pieces. Um, all this is molded open and, and it's just, it's look, it's really, really nice. Um, if you want to go that far, you can go nuts with it. Uh, what else have we got? Now, we've also got some masking sets came in for it. This is from um, a group called Dead Design. That's the mask for the wheel well, if you want to just mask out the wheel wells and to paint, which makes life a little easier. That's a canopy mask for inside and outs, so uh, you can um, protect it. Canopy masks now have become my favorite thing to do because it just makes life so much easier. Yes, you pay for the part, but if you balance your cost of masking against time uh, to spend maybe half an hour to mask up this using these, or a couple of hours masking up, making up your own masks and tape and everything else, then you can go for it. This one is, um, this one's a bit different. This one is an optical illusion for the control surfaces. You basically uh, are masking out some of the framing on the control surfaces, then airbrush your part of your color over it. So it gives that optical illusion of uh, depth to it. So that's another little mask that they've done as well. Um, other than that, obviously, as I said, this is a 30-second scale hell diver. Never been done before. It's the first in the line of a series of new kits coming from Infinity. However, be aware that this kit is only 2,000, and I'm already told that they are sold out worldwide. They do have a second version coming out uh, in a little while, which will be in the Atlantic scheme. So if you're looking to grab one and have that unusual kit, as I said, they're only making 2,000 of each one, so... Uh, grab it now because, as I said, they've actually sold out. So anyway, have a great day. Come and pick up a beast and uh, have fun with it. See you later, guys.